Courtney Williams. Yeah. And you know, I, I'm on. Yeah. I'm on point. You got to, you got to catch up, brother. You, know, you got to catch up. I'm gonna tell you, that's just how it is. Is that God is just speaking, and, 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 and I'm gonna tell you something. Mm -hmm. A lot of this is your fault. Man, brother, come on. <laughs> come, on come on now. Amen. And, and you know, you know, he tells us all the time, I don't say much, but God brought us back together. We don't we haven't figured out exactly what God's doing yet. But I'm God's always, doing something big, I'm telling you what. I'm Amen. always amazed that when he brings us together, it's for purpose. It is. Hallelujah. Always. It's for purpose. Amen. Always. You know, uh, that means that, that means that God has a has a plan. Because what did he say? He sent them out to by two. two, by two. All right, now. That's right. That's right. And then devils start to run. Out. That's right. And ah. a little salt spoon, a little pepper too. Tell him. Amen. Tell him. But when I think back over what God has done Amen. in our lives, Amen. we could have been anything could have happened. Yes. Amen. We we could have not even been doing this Amen. right now in this season. That's right. But God. But God. But God. But you know what I think about this? The enemy tried to take both of us out. Tried to take us out. Because you was out for a while. Yeah. I was out for a while. Mm. I was out for five years. I didn't want to go back. Mm. I wasn't coming back. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm, I'm done. I gave up. I quit. Mm. Now look. Now and then he brought the two of us back together. Yeah. So watch out, devil. Watch out, devil. Amen. I'm going to tell you what. Watch out. And it ain't just in Fort Greer, Fort, Fort Greer, and Fort Greer. Amen. Amen. All this, this brother's all over the country. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> get way, let it breathe. <laughs> Love you guys. Um, uh, Tammy, you go ahead and um, thank God for you. Go ahead and pass out those covenants today. Amen. We are, I, I'm excited. Obviously, you know, we've traveled, I've traveled over well, almost 2,000 miles to be here. Amen. And because I feel like you all are family. Amen. Amen. Well, you all are family. Not only are you family, but we're part. We're part of the same mission. We are. We are. We are. A friend of mine, Greg Jackson, said we're populating heaven. Yes, sir. Amen. We're seeing people saved, delivered, set free. Amen. And brought into the kingdom of God, and that is amazing. That is amazing because even heaven rejoices. Amen. When one soul. Get saved. Yes. Amen. And then I experienced something here a few months ago that I haven't experienced in a while. Y'all were baptizing people in this church. Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, I don't know if I'm talking to y'all, but I've been a part of some churches where 10 years go by, we ain't baptized nobody. My Lord. Amen. We ain't even baptized a dog. Amen. We look, Lord have mercy. And here I come here to Fort Grafton, Michigan, in the middle, for me in the middle of nowhere, because we go, you know, we go like they used to say, over the river and through the woods, amen, to get here, amen. But in this community, God is doing this great work, and you all are a part of that. Give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. I'm telling you, that's not common, Pastor. That's not common. You know, how many, you know what? Um, um, we just entered into a new year. I already took my glasses off, so this is over here. And for, for those of y'all who don't know, sometimes they call me Rare Red because I wear these red shoes. Amen. And it started when I still would wear them for Pentecost. Amen. And we will just, because we want to experience the glory of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You know, amen. And, but then, every now and then, they will pop out other times of the year. Amen. And this is one of those times because I wore them on the flight. Uh, and when and somebody saw that I had a uh, red shoes on, and they was like, oh my gosh, is real red back? Yes, I'm back, baby. Right. Amen. <laughs> because we come here to the Bible and the Holy Ghost. I got to get through this message, but I'm here to tell you that God is in this place. Right I'm going to reach up and grab whatever it is that God has for me. If you please, God, things begin to happen. But I'm here to tell you, when the praises of God are going up, the blessings come down. Well, somebody's got to get healed in here. Somebody's got to get saved in here. Somebody's got to get delivered in here. Oh, my God. But you know what? We just entered into this new year. We, what are we, seven days into this new year? And I'm here to tell you, ever since the new year was even coming, I began to think back across 2023 and about all the things that God has done in my life. And I'm here to tell you, it has overwhelmed me. Because how many of you know that God is good? And his mercy endures for all generations. Hallelujah. 
God had already gave me a word for y'all all the way back in 2023, and I'm going to bring it today, amen, because how many of you know, you, uh, sometimes all you need is a word, huh? because the word of God says the word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, which is the word of faith which we preach, and that word of faith will heal you, and that word of faith will deliver you, and that word of faith will bring your family back together, yes. and that word of faith will cause you to come out of a bad situation, that word of faith will cause you to live again, if you just get it in your heart. Yes. Oh, God, I'm give you some word today. The word of God that God gave me for you all for this year is don't faint in the wilderness. My Lord, my Lord. Don't faint in the wilderness. Mm. Mm. Don't faint. Don't faint. Turn your word to Isaiah. The 40th chapter. 25th verse. Come on, Holy Spirit. If you hear this today. It's going to make 2024 blow for you. I know we've seen a lot of things happen. I've watched as God has done amazing things here in Fort Gratiot. Pastor Gene Warren is a mighty vessel of the Lord. Uh, his wife, Tammy, amen, is a mighty vessel for the Lord. I met your leadership here, amen, and they are mighty, mighty men and women of God who are prepared, amen, to bring forth the vision of this house, amen, to transform the city of Fort Gratiot and Port Huron. And I'm here to tell you that Port Huron and Fort Gratiot won't even be big enough to contain what the Holy Ghost wants to do in your life. And if you don't faint in the wilderness, hallelujah, God is going to receive the glory. All right, God's going to receive the glory. Uh, Isaiah 40th chapter, verse 25 says, To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and behold who have created these things that bringeth out their host by number. He calleth all them all by names by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power. Somebody say strong in power. Strong in Not power. Not one that faileth. Why sayest thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from my God? Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, somebody say everlasting God. Everlasting God. The Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, faineth not, faineth neither not. is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. Somebody say power to the faint. Power to the faint. Yes. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint mm. and be weary. My and Lord. young men shall utterly fail. But here it goes, y'all. Somebody say, here it goes. Here go. This is what I was waiting for the whole time. All right, all because right. God wants to do this for you. Hallelujah. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord yeah. shall renew their strength. Yeah. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. Yeah. And they shall walk and not be all right, they God. that wait, they that serve, they that, they that work for the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Will renew Hallelujah. their strength. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. They're going to mount up with wings as eagles. They, go, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not and faint. faint. Why? Because my God faith not. Amen. The God we serve doesn't faint. Amen. The God we serve doesn't fail or falter. Don't you faint in this wilderness. We know that the wilderness is a find, a, a, a searching and a wandering place. But I'm here to give you a different way of looking at the wilderness that you have already gone through and that some of you are still going through. It is the path to the promise. Yes. It yes. is the pathway to the promise. Yes, Can I get a witness in this place? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? I, mean, I know that you may feel like y'all got a tiger 
by the tail here in Fort Gratiot. And you do. <laughs> Amen. I mean, y'all have done everything. Like I said, y'all done baptized. Y'all done started communion back up. Yes. Y'all done got Bible studies together. Y'all, I'm hearing something about prayer meetings coming. And I want you to know when I come again, and we're going to talk about this later, but when I come again in February, we are coming here for a prayer meeting and deliverance service that this city has not seen and God knows when. All right, man. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. All right, we're going to talk about that some more. Amen. But I know you may feel like you got a tiger by the tail and that this pace that you have been on <laughs> has been crazy. And it has been crazy. If you hang out with Gene Warren, it gets crazy. I'm telling you the right, right, right. Now. You know, uh, we, you know we, I, I, I tell the story all the time. We, we dropped down to 20 and we thought, we said, Lord, what is going to happen here? And all of a sudden, God got to moving. And then all of a sudden, we started seeing hundreds. And we were ministering to hundreds of people. And we were ministering to thousands of people in the city of Flint, serving thousands of people. And the youth were coming by droves. Yes. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. God did it. Bring it, Lord. Bring it. But he uses people like you. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like Pastor said, the misfits. The outcasts, yep. the folks don't fit in and nowhere else, amen. Be because God's power Hallelujah. is made, uh, his strength is made evident in our weakness, yeah. amen. It's when we're weak that He is most strong mm -hmm. in us. But I'm telling you that the pace that you are on is going to take you to the promise. If you go through this, if you go through whatever you have to go through right now. I don't care if you get up in the morning on Sunday morning and your body is hurting you. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. We used to sing an old song that said, if you catch hell, go forward. And if you're going through hell, don't stop. And the saints, old saints, well, for us older saints, amen, we're seasoned. Amen, praise God. Amen. But it's, it's what got us through our faith and resilience. Uh, our faith in a faithful God gets us through every time. I'm going to give you some points and then we're going to really move Move really quick here. Oh, how do you avoid fainting in the wilderness? Mm. How do you keep from fainting? Because see, that's one of the things. Like, not not always is everybody that starts with us in ministry is with us right. when God does what He what He wants to do through us. I was talking to Bishop uh, O.C. Allen in Atlanta, Georgia. And I, I said, is there anything, he's got thousands of members, and I said, is there anything you can tell me? He says, not everybody that starts with you is going to be there when you get to what it is that God has All right for. now. But he said, but the faithful will remain. Yes. Amen? Yes. The faithful will remain. And it made me think, some people just faint it. Some people just faint. Yes. Some people just give up. Some people just walk away. But I'm here to tell you, you've already been through your darkest house. Yeah. Ah, I don't know the whole shot yeah. that I did. You've already been through your darkest hour. Mm. My, my, mm. My. Thank you, Lord. And if you stick in here, if you stick and stay now, yeah. my, my. you're yeah. going to eat the good of the land. My, my. The Lord right says, now. if you're faithful and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Somebody say, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. So, how do you avoid fainting? Mm. First of all, you need to avoid all of the golden calves. All right. You need to avoid all of the golden calves. All of the false gods. All of the things that distract you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Because see, when God led the children of Israel out of Goshen, they took the gold with them. That's right. And when they were in their darkest moment, when they were in a challenging moment, they decided, hey, we're going to find out. We're going to figure this thing out for ourselves. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We're going to find our own way out. You know, we're going to, whatever, I don't know what your golden calf is. Some people smoke it. Mm. Some people drink it. All right. All mm. right. Some people wear it around their neck. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people date it. Mm. Hello, some, some people even marry it. All right now. <laughs> For whatever it is that exalts itself above the name of the Lord in your life, mm -hmm. avoid it. Avoid it. They melted down that gold so fast. 
I said, those people were really smart and very ingenuitive. They were helping build pyramids, praise God. <laughs> and they were, they said, hey, we're gonna make our own God. We're gonna make our own way out of this situation. Mm. But I'm here to tell you, there is no name under heaven by which men, other than Jesus, by which men must be saved. Right. It's at the name of Jesus that the word of God says that every knee shall bow. That's what it says. So that means poverty got to bow. All right. you know, that, mean, uh, <laughs> that means messed up relationships have got to bow. All right, all right. That means that the things that uh, uh, addictions have to bow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That means that our distractions have to bow. Because at the name of Jesus, yes. every knee shall bow. And every tongue has to confess that he is Lord yeah. to the glory of the Father. Yeah. <laughs> to avoid the golden cap. <laughs> No matter what you have to do. And you know what? We, 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 we have to be honest with ourselves. We know what the cap looks like. Amen. Because we know how to make the cap. You see how quick they did that? They was like, man, they ain't been out of Goshen for too long. And they was like, man, we, let's get this together. We need to, we need to get our cap and get everything going. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that no good happen. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, wow. We know how to, we know what our caps are. Mm. Oh, some. <laughs> Lord Jesus, avoid the golden calf. The second way for us to avoid fainting in the wilderness is to remember the miracles and the mighty work that God has done in our lives. Oh, man, that's why I said when I was coming into 2024, in 2023, it kept overtaking me about how many things that God had blessed me with. Amen. Amen. You know, right before you're ready to give up, start thinking about everything that God has done mm. for you in this last year. Can I get a witness in this all place? Right. <laughs> Y'all want to help me three six today? Start thinking about all that God has brought you through and God, all that God has done for your friends and your family and, that, and the things that God has specifically done in your life. We used to sing, my mom used to sing a song called Count Your Blessings, name them one by one. Oh, Count God. your many blessings yes. and see what God has done. Oh, no, used to say, when I look back over my life yeah. I see things yeah. over I yeah. truly say that I've been blessed. Yeah. I've got a chance Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. I've been Hallelujah. through some tests. Yeah. I've been through some trials in 2023. There were some times in 2023 where I thought that I wouldn't make it, but then God showed up. Yeah. Then the anointing of the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. in my life. Yeah. Then the angels of the Lord started ministering to me. And I'm here to tell you that God brought me over. Mm -hmm. That God got me brought me over. And yeah. God kept my lights on. And God kept my gas tank filled. Yeah. And God kept me flying back and forth across this country to do his work. And God kept my family together. And God kept healing my body. And God kept those yeah. blessing on me in spite of myself. In spite of everything that I've done yeah. and everything that I've been through, God did it. Yeah. So the children of Israel, even in this, in this wilderness, how quickly could we forget? How quickly could we forget that God delivered them from the hand of Pharaoh? That God led them out through the Red Sea and destroyed the enemies. And God was leading them through the way to the promise. How quickly they forgot. Amen. Don't forget about all the good things that God has done for you. I know some of you might be still waiting on your blessing and your miracle, but I'm here to tell you that God hasn't forgotten about you. God is not a man that he should lie or forget. Hello, somebody. He'll do everything that he says is he will do. Amen. He says that my word will go out and it will accomplish exactly what it was intended to. Hallelujah. That's how God works. So I know God did it. Mom went in the hospital the other day as 2024 breaks here and they said, listen, she had 50% functionality in her heart and she said, and then they said she was here last, and last time we were here, amen, minister, uh, evangelist, Kate, amen, and she said, and then they said while she was there, her heart function dropped down to 12%. My Lord. The devil is my mind. How many of you know, though, mama know God? Amen. All right, now. 
There's a Savior, amen, that, that, that does not forget about you. Hallelujah. That does not leave you in the same situation. She serves a Savior that just by his name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, Jesus tremble. By his name, sickness trembles. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. And by his stripes. Yes. We were the king. Hallelujah. Oh, they said, listen, we're not gonna let you go, let you go home. We need to run some tests and do this and that and whatnot. She said, Well, y'all do what y'all gotta do, amen. And uh my brother them kept bringing the chicken and everything. You know how folks is. <laughs> they want mama to be happy. If mama ain't happy, nobody happy, right? Amen. But a few days later, they went in and did their little they little invasive test, amen. And when they were done, they were a little disappointed. Mm -hmm. They said, well, nothing, nothing's wrong with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm, we're going to give you some medicine to help you along your way. My Amen. Lord. But they said, listen, there's nothing wrong for you. The stents have held. We don't have to do any, any surgery. Amen. You need to go home and just take care of yourself. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we're just going to ask you, Mama, just stay home. We're not going to drag you all the way up to uh, Fort Grassley, she said, all right, well, next time I'm going to be there. I said, praise God, I'll let right you know. Now. Hallelujah. But you got to remember the miracles and the mighty works of God that happen in your life. Amen. you got to remember. Amen. Because the, uh, the word of God says we have overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and what? The words of our testimony. Amen. Don't be afraid to testify to the goodness of Jesus. Number three, oh, I don't want to get there yet. Let me back up just for just a quick second. Ooh. Turning your words to Galatians 6, chapter, verse 9 through 10. Galatians 6, chapter, verse 9 through 10, it says, in verse 9, and let us not be weary in well-doing. Mm -hmm. For in due season, we shall read. All right now. If we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are the, of the household of faith. Oh my gosh. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. Keep on doing good. Yes. Amen. 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 Because like he said in his word, if we faint not, in due season, you shall reap. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Turn over to Matthew 19, 27 through 29. Because I'm here to tell you, like I said, if you haven't received your blessing in your life, if you haven't received a miracle in your life, and how many of you know, it's just a blessing to even to be here another year. Amen. All right, Amen. now. Amen. Verse 27 of Matthew 19. Chapter it says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Jesus said unto them, Verily, you know, when Jesus is about to really get in there and get down preaching to you, you know, verily. Sometimes he said, Verily, verily. That means oh, he's about to go in for real. He says, Verily, I say unto you that ye which have followed me. In the, re in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Mm. And verse 29 says, And every one that hath forsaken houses, because see, some of y'all feel like you've given some things up to follow Jesus. Some of you feel like you just even haven't even gotten what it is that you need in your life. And I know this. I'm going to tell you this. And, and, and I'm sure all of the saints in here who've been in the faith for a long time can tell you the same thing. If you stick with Jesus, if you stay following him, God will supply all of your needs according to your riches and glory. According to his riches and glory. Amen. Yes, in Christ yes. Jesus. God shall supply. I'm, I'm telling you, he's done it for me in high school. 
middle school, college. He's done it to me in all my adult life, amen. Now, like I said, I'm getting a little farther on there, amen. amen. And, and yeah, about to cross that 5 0 mark here soon, so y'all better pray for me, you know. But he keeps on keeping me no matter what. He supplies all of my needs. And matter of fact, not only that, now let's finish the scripture. He says, he says, and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mothers or wife or children or lands. Thank you, preacher. Or lands for my sake. And thank you, Tammy. Amen. Shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting all right. Yes. Wait, whoa, back that thing. Somebody said back that life. thing up. Yes, everlasting life. He had a real big list there. You might have had family fall away from you. You might have had home, might have lost homes. You might have lost a whole lot of things in your life. And like Pastor Gene said, the enemy tried to take us out. By the knees, he tried to take us out. But God kept us. Even through our wilderness experience. Amen. Amen. God kept us. Amen. He did not forsake us. He didn't leave us there. Amen. Thank God we don't look like what we've been through. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know I ain't shaved this year. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on a mission. I'm about to I'm gonna have a little beard like this preacher right here. So amen. This, we're gonna be twinning it up here. Amen. So you know, <laughs> that's my brother. He can look just like me. Don't tell me. I'll never say anything different. Amen. But mm, God kept us. We don't look like what we've been through. All right. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have more house than I can handle. I got more cars than I can handle. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise you know, right now, I even drive a car that I don't want to put no gas in. Amen. I don't pay no insurance for. Company takes care of all of that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I ain't talking about a buggy that I got a whole bunch of tools rattling around in. I'm talking about a nice, beautiful little RAV4 with a little touch screen in it. Praise God. Amen. That I don't even have to. Matter of fact, I remember when they brought it to the office, they brought it to me and said, will this work? Mm. I said, okay. Yeah. And so then they didn't, they didn't finish the deal, and the dealership called in the CEO of our company and said he had to fly down on his private jet to come sign that paper. And they bought it for me and delivered it to my desk. I didn't go down to pick it up. Somebody brought it to me. Right. Hello, somebody. Hello. And they were giving it to me. They gave me a card and said, you'll never put gas in it yourself. I said, praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But I got more car than I can handle. Maybe I got more family than I can handle. Right. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, I got I gave up a church in Port of Water, Florida, and now I'm preaching all over the country. All Amen. Right. Doing the yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And, yeah. Out of and God is doing more. Yes. 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 Amen. Don't faint. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My final point. My goodness, my goodness. I know we got communion to do. What time did y'all get out of here last Sunday? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Remember the covenant that God has made with you. Remember his promises. Because God is not slack, the word of God says, concerning his promises. That's right. You know, I... Tim, Tim doesn't know, but every time I see him come through a door of a church that I'm at, I know that God is not slack concerning his promises. I know that the, God, the, the covenant and the promises that God made to me, that God has been faithful in that. All of my children, all of my children are in church. Even if they only church one of they're believing you believe in God right now for your families to be saved. Amen. I'm here to tell you that God can do it. God hasn't forgot about you, sister. God hasn't forgot about you, brothers. Amen. God can do it. He is not slack concerning his promises. Every time I turn the key into my door at my home in Detroit. Many of y'all know I have a home in Detroit, right? Praise God. At my home in Detroit, I know that God is faithful. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Because he said, listen, if you focus on what I'm, if you focus on what I've called you to do, I'm going to, I'm going to take care of you. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm going to provide, I'm going to provide for you. God has a covenant with us. Amen. And he wants to be faithful to that covenant. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Turn, if you got your Bibles, turn to Genesis. Mm, mm, mm. Chapter 12, verse 1. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. God's talking to Abraham. How many of you know we're all connected to, to Father Abraham? Amen? Amen. Our, our covenant with God is rooted straight through him. Amen. He says, Now the Lord hath said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land which I will shew thee. Mm -hmm. Many of us are afraid to just follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. But I'm telling you that God has a plan for you, Jer Jeremiah 29, 11. You know, I know the plans that I have for you, saith the Lord. Plans to prosper you, and not to hurt you, and to bring you to an expected end. And he says, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee. <laughs> yes. My God. Yes. My God. Y'all have to give me four seconds. Come on now. All right. Ah, Take your time. <laughs> I will make of thee a great nation. Yes. A nation. A nation. Full of people that look different. Amen. Got funny looking tattoos sometimes. I'm just saying. Amen. Some of y'all are still running around here Snoopy on me. Amen. Praise God. My Lord. But he says, I will make of thee a great nation. Nation. Yes. And I will bless thee. Mm hmm. I will bless thee. Not for yourselves, but for the nation that God has given you. He says, I'm going to bless you. That's why I said, poor hero, I want him. Won't even be a boy in I know what poor shot of y'all are. And I will make thy name great. And I put my hand on when I said it. Because, ooh, God going to have to keep you for that. Mm -hmm. Man, when I said that to you that time, Jack's face flew in the mouth. here to tell you what God does for the head, it goes down through to the table. Even all if you right, feel God. like the least person in here. All right, all right. Know that the, the, the blessing that's on the man of God yes. and the woman of God yes. flows down. Yes, yes it does. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. you can't have a great nation without great leaders. All right. Hallelujah. Under you. Some are going to lead 50s. Hello. Some are going to lead 50s. Some are going to lead 100s. Yes. Some are going to lead thousands. thousands. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Oh, my, my. God, you, to avoid fainting, you have to remember the covenant. Yes. He says, and I will bless them that bless thee. Yes. And curse them that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth. All families. All families. All families. All families. Yes, hallelujah. All the families of the earth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As far as God can call you. Oh, my, my, my. Hallelujah. 
as far as God can cause you to stretch your arm, ah, or to stretch across this nation, God says all the families, all families. are going to be blessed. Thank all you, the families Jesus. are going to be blessed. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Families restored. Families put into houses. Yes. Families. Uh, Hallelujah. Yes. Seeing everything that they lost come back together in minutes. He's going to cause all the families to be blessed. Yes. Never forget about the covenant. Because see, if we forget about what God has promised and said to us about our lives, then we faint. We fall off. We fall to the way. You know, and sometimes a little fall off, okay. You know, sometimes we got to go through some time of, 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 of not being active. And Pastor, Pastor Gene and I, we've been through that. Amen. But, but, but we don't want to forget what God has promised in our lives, what God has said yes. about us. If God has told you, God has led someone to you to speak into your life, and tell you that you will be healed, yes. guess what? God will heal you. Yes. If God has told you that he's going to save you and change your life, yes. then God will save you. Yes, he will. Don't forget about the covenant. Don't forget about what God has said, because what is God says, the word God says, the promises of God are yes and amen. Well, well, well. That believe. I'm here to tell you, oh, my, my, my. I know I've got a yes and amen. Because when I was at my dark at my darkest hour, yes. God found me. When I was in my darkest hour, God Hallelujah. found me and God restored me. And he tapped me on the shoulder and said, Hey, remember me? Yes. <laughs> remember what I said about you? Remember what I spoke over your life? All of a sudden people kept saying the same thing over and over that had already been said year after year. And God brought me back. How many of you God has brought you back? That God has restored you. That God has picked up where he left off. Amen. And God has seen the vision that he has established in your life come to fruition. Yes. So today, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's why I say every time I think about what God has done in 2023 and I start to think about all that God has promised to do in 2024, it overtakes me. I get to, I get to the point where I'm like, I, I, got, I, got a little, I get a little shout at me. I'm going to be honest about it. You know what I'm saying? I get a little shout at me. Amen. Anybody know anything about shout? That's a little dance. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I can go oh, when y'all was doing it in the early. I really wanted to get indignant about it. But when I think about all that God has said and all that God has done and all that God has promised, I get a little shot. Yes. And if I don't get a little shot, I'll leave you a little shot. Amen. Yes. That's how the boy I tell you, that's how the whole Jesus like Jesus do it. Yes. I get a little bounce because Hallelujah. God has been so good to me. Yes. Hallelujah. He's been so good to me, like we used to say. I cannot tell it all. That's right. I cannot tell it all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He saved my soul. He Yes, 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 Fort Gratiot, Florida, Michigan, amen, not Florida, Fort Gratiot, Michigan, amen. <laughs> you all got a praise yes. for all that he's done yes. and all that he's promised to do. Yes. And if you still sit there thinking, well, when is, when is he going to get to bless me? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you right now. You got to praise God right now. Don't make some of that. You need to get a shot yes. in your life right now. Yes. You need to get a shot in your heart right yes. now. You need to clap your hands. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Hallelujah. You know what? I was telling Dr. Alicia uh, the other, uh, yesterday. I said, you know what? I've been in I've been in churches that are just dead and falling apart. My Lord. You know, and, I, and there are some things that, that many of them just do, some of some things that they don't do. But I'm here to tell you, I also know what it is when God is about to. Mm. Yes, yes. When God is about to shake the earth. Yes. I know what it is when God's about to spring forth and we'll see Hallelujah. miracles, signs, and wonders. I know what it is when a God is about to do the impossible. He's about to turn an impossible situation and show the people of God that all things are possible. Yes, in yes, us. yes, and yes. I know what that's like. Amen. And I see that here in Fort Ratchet. I'm not trying to keep your head up, but I'm here to tell you that if you just keep on following yes. the leadership that's here, amen, if Hallelujah. you keep on getting in the place and doing the things that God has called you to do, yeah. And you keep on feeding families and struggling on instruments and getting involved with the youth and getting involved with the preachers and getting involved with the ministry. Yeah. Getting involved with the ministry. Yeah. Keep on being faithful. Yeah. Come into church on Sunday and getting your praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 It's going to be good. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. And then you're going to start to hear people that you've known in this city for years and years talking about how good God is. Yeah. Hey, would you pray for us? Yeah. Yeah. Would you seek the Lord for us? Yeah. Would you pray for us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you remember us? Would you put us on your prayer list? Yeah. You're going to see people showing up at the door. Yeah. And showing that this is where you got to come Hallelujah. so that God can do a blessing in your life. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my. That's freedom. Lighthouse. Fellowship, amen. We all experience freedom, light, and fellowship, amen. Hallelujah. In this house. In this house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't forget the covenant. We handed out earlier this covenant prayer. If you got a pen, you can put your name on that top line. Put your name on that top line. Thank you. If you don't want to participate, that's fine. But I'm here to tell you, I've been doing the covenant service now for about 10 years. Almost 10 years. And when Pastor Dean, we talked about me coming this month. I said, Ooh, I got to bring y'all this. Because I'm telling you, I have seen God be so faithful in my life. When I first, when I first came into this, mm, mm, mm. To be honest with you, I didn't, I didn't even own a house. We had lost the house that we had. Amen. Matter of fact, a gentleman came we, who was on the deed with us and had me sign the house over so that he could sell it and get whatever left he could get out of it. My Lord. Within two years of that, amen, I bought my house in Detroit, paid, paid it off in three years. And I owe nobody nothing. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank the Lord. I serve. I'm not, we're not talking about some of the rich and a quick state, amen. And I'm not really a prosperity preacher in the true sense of uh, prosperity preachers, amen. Right. I believe that if you're faithful to God, yes. that he'll be faithful to you. Yes. Amen. So, if you have it, do we have our prayer up on the screen? Because I ain't got my glasses on. Hallelujah. And I'm looking at it sideways. Oh, there it is. We have our covenant prayer. If you want to participate in this, let's stand on our feet as we read this. This is us giving ourselves back to God. Yes. Thank in you, In 2024. Lord. Yes. And trusting God for his provision. Amen. Amen. We're going to read it together, if you will. And those of y'all who are good at reading stuff, and y'all real churchy, I want y'all to read real loud. All right. <laughs> It says, I am no, no longer my own, but, but yours. yours, most high. Put me to what, what you will. Place me, me 
with who you will. Put me to doing. Put me to suffering. Put me to suffering. Let, Let me be put, put to work, work for you, for you and set, set aside, aside for you. you. Amen. Praise for you or criticize for you. you. Let, Let me be full. Let, Let me be empty. empty. Let, Let me have all things. Let me have nothing. nothing. I freely and fully surrender all things to your glory and service. And now, O oh wonderful and holy God, creator, redeemer, and sustainer, you are mine and I am yours. So be it, and the covenant which I have made on earth, let it also be made in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. When I pray that prayer, that prayer Thank you, was written in the 1600s. My Lord. And I'm telling you that the oil of that prayer is still on it today. My Lord. Like it was hundreds of years ago. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You belong to God today. Yes. You Thank belong you, to God. Lord. Come on, Pastor. Thank We're going to get ready for communion. Come on, leaders, we're going to have communion. Hallelujah. I thank God for you, Freedom Lighthouse Fellowship. Yes. You do You do this old guy's heart really glad. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to share it. We've already made this covenant. We're going to share communion together. Go ahead, Pastor. You on? I'm on. All right. I'm on. And then there's some of you that have asked to come to help us to pray. Mm -hmm. You would come and join us as well. We are going to take communion. You know, it, it, communion is a time of remembering. The Bible says, "This do this in remembrance of me uh, as you remember what I have done for you. Yes. 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 And so as we begin this year, when Courtney and I were talking about the covenants, what a better way to partake not only in a covenant prayer, but in the covenant together in taking communion and now committing our remembrance in the covenant by taking communion and remembering what it is that Jesus has done for us. Yes. yes. And what he's going to do for us. Oh, yeah. and, and solidifying, if you will, the covenants that we just made. Yeah. You see, you, you all thought, if you thought you were just reading something that was on a screen, y'all better think again. All right. Because all what right. you just did was you covenanted yourself to God yes. and to Him and to what He is going to do in your life. Yes, yes. What He's already doing, now He's going to further do beyond even the covenant that Brother Courtney read because you have now, and it says at the end, have made on earth, let it be made in heaven. Yes. Whatever you loose on earth, yes. will be loose in heaven. Yes. Whatever you bind yes. on earth, yes. will be bound yes. in heaven. In heaven. Yes. You have made a covenant. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We signed it too. We signed Jesus. it. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And now you signed it. You are part of this. Amen. You are part of what God is doing here at Freedom Lighthouse Fellowship. You are a part of what God is doing in the kingdom. Every last one of you, from the youngest to the older of you, you are a part of this. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Like Pastor said earlier, it's better be ready. Be now ready. here's what we're going to do. We all know the scripture that says this, do this, remember me. Yeah. The scripture in Corinthians that talks about when you eat of this bread, you eat life eternally. And when you drink of this juice, you drink of living water. Or drink living. We all know those scriptures. So what we're going to do today is similar to what we did back in November. Hmm. And, and, and my wife and I had this talk and she said, I'm just going to tell on her. We had this discussion. She said, I thought you said that 
we, we weren't going to do communion as a ritual. And I said, we're not doing communion as a ritual. Amen. We're doing communion Amen. because of a covenant. Yes, yeah. hallelujah. We're doing communion to solidify the covenant that we have just made. Yes, yeah. yes, That yes, you yes. have just made. Yes. We're doing communion to remember, remember what it is Christ did for us so that we can have the covenant that he has yes, given us. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to ask you to stand and come and take it. And then as you do, we're going to, as you make your way, and if God leads one of you up here to pray with somebody, or if God leads one of you to go to somebody for prayer, we want to pray with you. And then... And then he's looking for the musicians. Roger can come and play something. Come on, Roger. Come on. Don't let us down. Uh, <laughs> Amen. And, uh, and then after we pray, we just follow the Holy Ghost. I don't know where to go from there. Amen. Praise God. What is this? This is bread. I know, but we're doing this. All right, we'll pray. Here we go, huh? Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the table that represents the place where we all come in a part of one body, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Father God, we ask that you would bless these elements of bread and juice. Yes. Lord, that we would ever be reminded. Yes. Of your sacrifice Hallelujah. on Calvary's cross. Yes, yes. Ah, Hallelujah. <laughs> your body was broken for us. Yes. And your blood was shed for us. Thank you, Jesus. So that we could inherit eternal life. Yes. And now, you. as united and blessed people, after we take of this table, let us share yes, Lord. the good news. That Christ, while we were yet sinners, yes. Christ died for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. So, just come on, take in that in, in the bread and the juice, and and in your own way, remember what it is that God has done for you. What it is that this covenant means to you today, and, and allow others to. Pray for you, with you, or go back and pray with yourself, for yourself. Stay, stay. Or pray for your neighbor. Pray for your neighbor. Yes, you will. Pray for your family, for your friends. Stay. Hallelujah. Stay. 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 Stay, baby. I know it was the blood. Yeah, yeah, no. Go ahead and make your and do it together. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. I know it was the blood. Thank the Lord. If you have not been already, this is the body of Christ broken for you. Hallelujah. Let us eat together. together. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. You got your little juice cup. Shake it up a little bit, right? This is the blood of Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Which was shed for you for many. For the remission of sins, treat this in remembrance of Him. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For as often as you do it, you celebrate Him till He comes again. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We celebrate the covenant that we ratified with him. Hallelujah. 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 I want to thank, thank God for um, Tim and Sarah, Eli, and Ezekiel for being here today, my babies. My babies and my baby babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen. For Dr. Alicia, the preacher, amen. From Detroit, you can find her on YouTube, Dr. Alicia Preacher. Amen. amen. Thank God for all of you that I see today, Nick and everybody, uh, Sue and Connie and all of you. I don't want to just name it too many names, but then I forget other people's names. Amen. Thank God for you. Y'all keep praying for me as we pray for you. Amen. Pastor Jean and uh, Tammy, keep doing the work of the ministry here. Amen. But all these folks, man, you know what? As we pray in the prayer, put these folks to doing. Every last one of them, put them to doing. Hallelujah. Put yes. them to doing, Pastor. Amen. Amen. Find you a lazy poor recliner somewhere and sit down. Amen. Put them to doing. That the work of the ministry will go forth here yes. in my house fellowship. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.